my name is Olushi Adeyemi, and uh, my background is in business management. I'm a business management uh, graduate uh, from Nigeria. And uh, originally when I came here, uh, before coming here, I had a business of my home, of my own uh, back home for about nine, between nine, 10 years. And specifically the business I had was in clothing. And uh, when I had the opportunity to travel to Canada, I decided to come study uh, fashion design at College La Salle simply because I felt that could enhance my, uh, you know, my entrepreneurial background with fashion design. And uh, upon completing that program, I see uh, opportunities in immigration and uh, recruitment. So myself I'm, and my business partner, who happens to be also my wife, we started a recruitment agency in 2018. And, uh, you know, upon further research, uh, we felt it would be a good add-on to have uh, an immigration agency. She's a RCIC licensed uh, uh, consultant as an immigration uh, uh, consultant. And I'm uh, thinking about taking the same steps. And I thought that the ILAD program with Ashton College would be a good uh, stepping stone to becoming an actual immigration consultant. When we're looking for a school for my partner, uh, Ashton College was one of the most referred. So she finally did an online program instead of with Ashton. And when it was my time, we looked through the reviews, we looked to, through all the, uh, the referrals that we got and Ashton still came out, came out on top. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna go with there. There are quite a, a few uh, colleges in Montreal that offers the similar program, but I said to myself, like Ashton seems to have more uh, review online. The favorite part of the program, I would say, first of all, is the mix of the uh, class uh, teachers. I find that uh, you know a number of the teachers I've had so far uh, seem to have a very diverse. Uh, background as related to uh, immigration practice. Uh, I could remember the, my class with uh, uh, Leon Jalma. The fact that, you know, he's been in law practice, you know, he has a robust uh, experience with uh, handling uh, case files. I can also recall uh, Uma, Uma Ramru. And uh, I think she also, when I read a profile, you know, just mention a few of uh, the So for me, the blend or the, the mix of teachers that I've had interaction with so far, I would say, because they all seem to have a very uh, uh, good experience handling cases. They have a lot of uh, interactions in their past experiences that crosses with immigration and uh, review board and, and whatnot. So for me, I would say this is one of my most favorite. But the other thing is that, you know, we are living in the online age and Ashley is able to uh, make this program available online so that I don't have to do an in-class thing and the assignments and the, almost like everything is available on online uh, through the Google Classroom. So this would be, uh, these two will be my two favorite parts of the Ashton program. It really makes the, uh, the, the learning process very convenient. It has to do with the regulations uh, guiding the immigration practice generally and how to cite our uh, statute. This is one of my uh, favorite uh, classes because it shows how you uh, get your information online, how you put together a case file. If you have to go before, uh, review board or you have to appear in court, how to gather uh, all of your information and put it in such a way that it is easy to access and uh, easy to use, you know, like if you're working for a lawyer and you have to help to do the, the case file uh, research, all of the things that you need to do. I mean, it's the first time I'm taking a class that goes that in depth in terms of researching information and you know synthesizing information that would be used for a case file. 
this is North America and, uh, you know, it's very challenging, uh, especially if you run or like your own agency and you're going back to school. So the, the, the best way uh, for me is to find uh, a bit of time during the week to take uh, uh, physical activities. So I play a little bit of ping pong. And um, I also love uh, uh, cycling. And uh, I, have, uh, I have a gym mat at home. I tried to see if I could do a little bit of yoga here and there, watch YouTube videos. But basically, you know, you have to get out there, go to the park, you know, uh, take time with uh, my partner and uh, the new baby, making sure that uh, because sometimes the pressure can really get to you uh, when you have unfinished project and plus uh, you have employees to manage and plus, you know, have you have deadlines almost everywhere. Basically, exercise, a little bit of exercise here and there, and spending time with loved ones. I love schooling, you know. I love going to school. Um, you know, I'm, I, my plan is to go to Queen's University after this program. You know, that's why I'm taking that program. But basically, with the kind of uh, lifestyle that I have, uh, time is my number one uh, challenge, like time management. You know, I want to do... Uh, so many things in one day and you have or you, your your attention is needed elsewhere you can't just spend 12 hours straight uh you know so yeah time management is the is the number one challenge living in this part of the world and going back to school i found an immigration firm in ottawa so the immigration firm is owned by Taiwo and Kende or Laliri. And, um, you know, I read their profile. I saw some articles that was written about these uh, immigration agencies. So I decided to contract them to uh, appeal my, my uh, study permit uh, uh, refusal, right? So now fast forward to from 2012 to 2014, uh, I got a a decision that says that uh, uh, my study permit should be granted. Uh, this was exciting for everyone. And then I kept a very good relationship with uh, Taiwan K in the Olanary. That's actually the name of the agency. When it was uh, midway into my program, uh, I keep referring friends to uh, this agency. And one time they both called me, uh, they are twins, and uh, they both called me to say, hey, uh, most of the guys who referred to us uh, keep saying that uh, Olu said to do this, Olu said to do that, Olu said to take that form and take that step. And they are just looking at it like, do I have interest in immigration? Uh, you know, at that time, they give me an advice to say, hey, maybe after your fashion design program, you might want to consider uh, an immigration program. And then, of course, I met my wife, who was also interested in the same thing. She already did application for five of our siblings at the time I met her and I'm like oh it's just a very good uh, you know like complementary uh, competency to have and so so my favorite people in immigration if they ever get to see this uh, video is Taiwo and Kende Olaleri. The other exciting thing about this program is I'm not sure what exactly that I'm doing but in all of my schooling uh, time up until now. This is a program that I'm taking and I think I have the best grades, you know. So <laughs> for me, like, uh, you know, my average is like quite uh, high. I'm a, uh, it's 92 uh, percent, uh, 92, uh, sorry. How do you say that for the grade? So my average uh, grade is, uh, yeah, it's 92 or uh, uh, said, and uh, I have a very uh, strong uh, opportunity to even have something close to 95 or 98, you know, in each of my classes. So, and uh, I feel, you know, like I feel more passionate in this class than many of the other kind of uh, training, webinar, workshop that I've had in the past. So this would be one of the mo most memorable thing about the 
ILAV program with the Ashton College.